What's going on guys? My name's Theoatrix and today I'm counting down the top 10 easiest pets that you can get in old school. This entire video is based on the drop rate of the pet and how often you roll the drop rate. So basically these are the pets which should take you the least amount of time to get. But of course, since the drop rates are so rare, some people can go dry of pets for thousands of kills. I'm not gonna be including pets like the pet cat or the pet rock. I'm only gonna be including the skilling, bossing, and other rare pets. For the simplicity of this video, I've calculated the approximate number of pet rolls that you'd get after 10 hours of doing that certain skill or boss. From that, I've worked out the approximate chance of getting a pet after 10 hours using binomial probability, and then from that I ranked them from hardest to easiest ones to get but I'm only going to show the 10 easiest ones in this video and the final pet that I mentioned in this video will be the easiest one to get based on 10 hours of going for it. I'm not really taking into account the requirements that you need and the time it takes to get the requirements for these pets. I'm mainly just talking about 10 hours of grinding out trying to get that pet. Coming in at the number 10 spot, we have the Jad Pet. And with a very high range level and a good setup, some people can do sub 30 minute Jad runs. There is around an 11% chance that you'll get a pet after 10 hours of doing the fight caves. You can also then go and hand in your fire capes for an extra chance at the pet, and you have a 19.55% chance of getting a pet after 10 hours of killing and then handing in the fire capes. The thing about Jad though is you don't really make a lot of money while you're killing Jad, so it's more recommended just to kill Jad when you have a Slayer task so that you get the Slayer XP reward as well. Number 9 on the top 10 easiest pets to get is the Hell Puppy. And once you get the hang of Cerberus, it's possible to get over 35 kills per hour. Doing 10 hours straight of Cerberus, you'd have an 11.9% chance of getting the Hell Puppy as a pet. At the same time, Cerberus makes a lot of money per hour. It does require 91 Slayer, but once you start hitting those crystal drops, you'll be making well over 2 mil per hour. The gear setup for Cerberus is quite a high requirement and you need a lot of money in order to afford the whole setup, but the Hell Puppy isn't the easiest Slayer pet to get. There's a few easier ones that I'll talk about a bit further on. The next one on this list is the Venonata Spiderling, and this assumes that you get a kill approximately every 2 minutes and 20 seconds, which is actually being quite conservative and is pretty accurate considering how much you'll get PK'd. So in 10 hours, you can do approximately 250 to 270 kills. 270 kills of Venonatus gives you a 12.63% chance of getting the Spiderling. The Wilderness bosses have a much better drop rate for the pet than most of the other bosses, having only a 1 in 2,000 chance of dropping a pet. The next one on this list is Skodos, and I've made a video in the past about farming Skatizo totems, and I've calculated this one based on 1.1 Skatizo kills per hour, which is being pretty conservative considering sometimes you can get a full totem in under half an hour. If you'd like to learn how to farm your Skatizo totems, I've put a link to that video in the description, but if you were to do 1.1 Skatizo kills per hour, making 11 in 10 hours, you'd have a 15.68% chance of landing the Skatizo pet. Some people will do more than 1.1 Skatizo kills per hour, but I wouldn't really suggest going out of your way just to get the Skatizo pet. You will make a bit of money, but in terms of XP and efficiency, it isn't really worth your time. Next one on this list is the Baby Mole, and he has a drop rate of 1 in 3,000 from the Giant Mole. At high combat levels with good combat stats, you can get a kill just over every minute. So I calculated this from 50 kills per hour, which means 500 kills in 10 hours at a drop rate of 1 in 3,000, which translates into a almost 16% chance of getting the pet. Completing the Falador Hard Diary gives you the Mole Locator, and getting about 50 kills per hour will profit you approximately 600k per hour as well. It's also fairly decent combat XP per hour, and Mole can be a very good source of bird nests for Iron Man accounts. 
Next on the list, we have the pet Smoke Devil, coming in at number 5. Killing the Smoke Devil requires level 93 Slayer, but once you get that, he's actually one of the easiest bosses to kill. On average, most players will get approximately 1 kill per minute. For the sake of this video, I've calculated it to be 1 every minute and 10 seconds, just to account for banking and getting more food. So in total, after 10 hours of killing the Smoke Devil, you'll have approximately 550 kill count. Of course, you need to be on a Smoke Devil task in order to be able to kill the Smoke Devil boss, but combining 10 hours worth of time of just killing the boss, you have a 16.12% chance of getting the Smoke Devil pet. Something interesting is that there's a 1.6% chance that you'll have two pets, and a 0.1% chance that you'll get three. Kraken Pet is number 4 on this list, and that has the same drop rate as the Smoke Devil Pet, but Kraken is even easier than the Smoke Devil, and it's very easily possible to get at least 1 kill per minute. So in 10 hours, you'll get around 600 kill count, and with a drop rate of 1 in 3000 for the pet, 600 kill count translates to about an 18.12% chance of getting the pet Kraken. At the same time, Kraken can be a decent money maker, and due to the kill time of Kraken, it's it's actually the easiest Slayer boss pet that you can get in the game. Number 3 on this list may come as a surprise to some of you guys, and number 3 is Scorpia. Scorpia drops a pet at a rate of 1 in 2000, and similar to Kraken, Scorpia is very very easy to kill and solo. It's possible to do 1 kill per minute at Scorpia, with approximately 600 kill count after 10 hours. Obviously there will be some PKs there sometimes, so that number may drop a bit, but it still puts it at the number 3 spot. There's a 22% chance of getting 1 pet, a 3% chance of getting 2, which combines to a total of a 25.9% chance of getting the pet after 10 hours of killing Scorpia. So there's over a 1 in 4 chance that you'll get the Scorpia pet after 10 hours. Along with that, Scorpia drops some valuable shard drops as well. So you'll definitely make a lot of money at the same time as going for the pet. In a duo at Scorpia, you can get kills in about 30 seconds. So even coming to Scorpia in a duo would still result in you getting a around 60 kills per hour. At the number 2 spot, we have the pet Chaos Elemental. And killing the Chaos Fanatic, it's easily possible to get a kill per minute there as well. So in 600 kills after 10 hours, you'll have a 44.8% chance of getting the pet, since the drop rate is only 1 in 1000. You actually have around a 10% chance of getting 2 pets in 10 hours, so there's quite a good chance of getting a pet. But killing the Chaos Elemental itself gives a far better drop rate of 1 in 300 for the pet, and it's possible to get 20 kills per hour at the Chaos Elemental, sometimes even more kills per hour. From 200 kills, so from 10 hours, you'll have a 48.24% chance of getting the pet. Using the Twisted Bow at the Chaos Elemental, you can easily get 30 to 40 kills per hour, and that would make this pet at the number one spot, but since T-Bows are ridiculously expensive, not everyone has one. So the number one pet on this list is the Chompy Chick. But in order to be able to get the Chompy Chick, you do need to have completed Western Provinces Elite. And in order to finish that diary, you need 1,000 Chompy Kills. On average, it's possible to get up to around 200 Chompy Kills per hour. Being quite conservative, you could easily do 1,000 Chompy Kills in 6 hours. In the 4 remaining hours, if you continued killing the Chompy Birds at a rate of 200 per hour, you'll have a 79% chance of landing the pet in the remaining 4 hours. If you were to just go 10 hours of going for the Chompy Chick, not counting the amount of time it takes to do the Western Provinces Elite, there's actually a 97% chance that you'll get the pet. The drop rate is 1 in 500, and in 10 hours you can easily get over 2,000 Chompy kills. Obviously, you can never guarantee getting a pet, but 10 hours of killing Chompy birds will almost guarantee a pet. So as it turns out, all of the skilling pets have under a 10% chance of getting a pet, so none of them made this top 10 list. The easiest skilling pet to get is actually 
the beaver by 1.5 or even 2 tick woodcutting teaks. But if you'd like to see a video on the hardest pets to get, which would show all of those in order, be sure to leave a like on this video and I'll compile all of the hardest pets to get together and I'll even make a pet drop calculator on my website if we can reach 1000 likes on this video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. I've also made a video of the chance of getting a skilling pet when you're going to level 99 in a skill. If you're interested in the chances of getting a pet, I've put a card on the screen or a link in the description below. That's a really interesting video as well. Anyways guys, leave a comment if you've gotten really lucky on any pets. Let us know what kill count you got it and what pet it was. Be sure to leave a like if you'd like to see the hardest pets to get in old school. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.